Greetings from the past, fellow time travelers. I am the Sporknator. Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we got up to the Garden Dome, and now we are ready to do something. I like to start with the small ones first. That's why I'm doing this first before I do the other ones that would normally come first, I think. But I never know, because I always have way too many stars by the time I get here. That every single galaxy is available from the get-go. But we have to start somewhere, so... This is my preferred starting spot for this dome. So this is Matter Splatter Galaxy, and watch your step. So I'm guessing it's going to be similar to the hidden star that we saw in, uh, was it Deep Dark Galaxy? No, no, what was it called? It was the galaxy with Bouldergeist in it. The hidden star there had the Matter Splatter thing going on with the, uh, well, I don't know if it was Matter Splatter, but it had a similar gameplay mechanic to this. Where stuff disappears and reappears or moves or whatever. This is looking pretty crazy. Just look at this, man. This is out of control. Uh, magic Koopas everywhere. I don't give a crap. I'll keep on moving forward. Even if I turn this into a rat. Jeez. Jump in the water. Anything else happens. I'm not gonna lie, this looks pretty treacherous so far. Oh my goodness, you have to follow the path. To do the thing, just like the Matter Splatter thing does. Holy crap, look at this. This would be pretty tricky your first time through, I think. Oh my goodness, I saved it. Saved by... No. No, I didn't want to come down here. Okay, fine. I can chill out. I can go back to the start if that's what you want. It's not really what I want, but whatever. Okay, we're going back this way now. Saved by the spin again. Okay, no need to get violent now. Good lord. I would say this is harder than I remember, but honestly, I don't remember much. It's late game stuff. I don't remember this stuff very well. Not as well as I should, anyway. Alright, let's get the jump on this stupid wall kicking business. Oh my goodness, holy crap. Where am I going next? Must be going to the left. Okay, none of your bullcrap. I am done with your shenanigans. Magical. I'm going in the warp pipe once again before anything else happens. Holy crap. Oh no, it's the spring power-up. Oh gosh, why? It's the best power-up in the game, like I said before. Why can't I not backflip over it? I really want to smash it with a ground pound to stop the fight. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's all I wanted. It was just that right there. Let's get this crap started. This thing's gonna move upward and reveal stuff. I have to keep bouncing my way up until I make it, I guess. The thing is, though, you can only go so fast, because you can jump as high as you want, but you'll never land on anything before it becomes visible, or accessible, or whatever you want to call it. This, is, this actually isn't so bad. It's Spring Mario in 2D. 3D is a whole lot, a whole lot more annoying. A whole lot more annoying, Spark. Learn to speak English, please. You're embarrassing yourself on YouTube. And even though you could choose to not upload this video, and you could redo it, you won't redo it, will you? Because that's how lazy you are, Spark. I'm just kidding. But anyway. I got the extra life! And I regret nothing. That's amazing. I actually thought I was going to regret that. Like, get an extra life and then immediately die. And then have to redo this part. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, get through the thing. Holy crap. What does this do? Star bits everywhere that I probably won't need. But I'll pick them up anyway because I have nothing better to do at the moment. Alright, this floor is disappearing. We gotta get up here now. Which, which way are we going, man? Oh gosh, these rocks and crap. Okay, up through there. No, 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 no. Mario, please. There we go. The sling star there, I'm aiming for that. <gasps> and I'm dead. Look at Mario bouncing on his head. That has got to hurt. Okay, I think I'm back. This may not be where I was, but it's close to it. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't actually gonna keep all this in because we've already seen it. So I died trying to get the stupid sling star, right? I should probably just jump early and wait, what happened? There we go! Do it before anything else happens! And land straight on a pipe. Okay, sure, why not? We saw a block there. Must be just for looks if you can't actually get to it. Okay, so I think the pipes are like checkpoints in a way, similar to sling stars. At least I would hope so, otherwise we're probably gonna have a bad time if I die again. Long jump is useful here. Just gotta wait to have somewhere to land. 
kind of like an auto-scrolling level in a way, but different at the same time. Okay, the path is gonna branch out at some point here. So then... We just have to wait patiently until we have to do. And I can collect Starbus while I'm waiting. Neither one of you are going to live today. I lied. Thank goodness. I was right about them being checkpoints. At least I don't have to do that other part over again that I did to get here in the first place. So that's nice. I don't know why I jumped over here. That was stupid. <laughs> okay, that was a better outcome than the first one. Now you all are dead. You can stay dead. Forever. So I never have to see your ugly face again, Magikoopa. I hate you. You're the worst enemy in the game. You should be fired. Actually, you're doing a good job, not gonna lie. You did manage to kill me. And that's what Bowser wants from you, so I actually have to say good job. Most enemies can't actually pull that off. So you've done the impossible, Magikoopa. You're the best enemy in the game. You're Lord Bowser's best minion. But there's the star. Let's get it before anything else happens. Good job! You got the thing! Ta-da! ba ba boom Ah, another one for our collection. Oh, yeah. I think one thing that's interesting to note about the garden... Oh, watch your step, Matter Splatter Galaxy. Yeah, I know. One thing that's interesting to note about this garden dome is that instead of it being in, the, in a room like the others, it feels like it's out in the open. Because you've got the sky and you've got the garden atmosphere about it, so that's what makes this dome unique from all the others. And I wish some of the others could have been a little more diverse in how they looked, but... It's all just for looks anyway, so who cares, right? So Matter Splatter Galaxy is complete. So let's unlock the next galaxy with the smallest star count, which is 46. This is Galaxy 46. Jeez, man. This is Deep Dark Galaxy. I think I accidentally named this one when I was trying to remember that other galaxy, and I still can't remember the name of that one. But anyway, let's start Deep Dark Galaxy. I'm drawing a blank on, the, on that one galaxy that had the booze in it. What was it called? I can't remember. That's just sad, man. Anyway, this is the underground ghost ship. This looks pleasant. Tell you what, man. <clears throat> oh, I tell you what, man. We're flying down and yes. landing on the beach. Well. Captain Toad, status report. We're currently on vacation. I mean, galactic survey duty. Please be patient with us. <laughs> I have a feeling he just lied to me. I'm not entirely sure. Or it could have been like a Freudian slip or something or whatever you call it. That is what you call it, right? When you say the wrong thing. Even if you're not lying, you just happen to say the wrong thing. What's the cannon for? Oh, I see what I'm gonna need. You probably have to light these torches with fireballs. And this cannon probably takes us to a place where we can get such a fireball power-up. There's also a rainbow star there, so if we grab that, we can kill all the enemies on this tiny little planet. So, one, two, three, Octorok extinction attack! Boom, boom! Ha 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 ha! Revenge! Revenge! You will all die by my hand. You can't handle my colorful rainbowness. I don't even want your stupid star bits. I just want every single one of you dead. I hope you're all dead because my power up ran out. I will get some of these star bits though. So that sling star takes us back, but before we head back, we need to grab the fire flower. And of course, the fire flower's time limited. Is so time limited. Time limited. So <laughs> without wasting too much time, let's get back and light those torches quickly. This is what we have to do. Oh my gosh, let's go right now. Jump up high and get real close. Why not? Because this makes it easier. There we go. That opens the gate. Mission accomplished for now. But this isn't over yet. More stupid magic was Dodge and kill. And dodge and kill. 
I finally found a strat that matches my skill. Oh yeah, there's water here. I wanna see what Toad wants over there. Star bits under the water without even going down there. Almost feels like cheating in a way. <laughs> anyway, sir, the team is surveying an underground lake. And this is a brick. It now doesn't exist anymore because I murdered it. Man, they weren't lying when they called this deep dark galaxy. Not only is it dark, it really is deep. And by the way, this is an arrow made out of star bits that I collected, so that's actually a clue telling us that we should go here, if that wasn't already obvious in some way. There's a lever underwater here. If we hit that, it should open the gate. Aha! Very good. Okay, just swim through, Mario, please. I think it's time to surface. We're a bit low on air. Oh, wait, no, there's a lever somewhere that opens that up. I gotta find it. There are air bubbles here, though, so there's not really much of a need to panic. Those mines, though. Those mines. Mine, 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 mine! Anyway. That's not what they were talking about in Finding Nemo, but now that I think about it like that, it makes me laugh in a way. Like on the inside, I guess. I don't know if it's actually that funny or not. I'm seriously wondering where that lever is, though, to open up that gate up to it. It's right there? Are you serious? Wow, I did not look around at all, did I? Well, I apologize then. Just hit it! What are you waiting for, Mario? You're gonna drown here. I'm telling you right now. You can't be doing that. I don't care about the coins. I'm going to the surface. I'm sure I'll find coins elsewhere. Especially inside those conspicuous-looking crates. Does unlighting these torches do anything besides star bits? Yeah, I guess not, but that was to be expected. Oh my gosh, we got booze here. There's a light we can use to kill the bugs. I think we're gonna be okay. No coins? Well, I know if I kill a boo, I can get a coin. So. Yep, yeah, he has a coin inside of him. You can tell. He hid it there. He hid it inside himself. That sounds so dirty. Okay, coin. Cool. What are we doing here, though? Don't actually remember. I will unlight these torches just, just out of spite, because I never, I never give you permission to light those torches. Those are for ceremony, man. So unless we're having a party, I don't want to see those torches lit. They're important to me. I'm just kidding, I have no idea what they're for. But, you are free to speculate, of course. Is there anything around here? No, probably not. I'll get in the middle here and spin for free star bits as a circular thing. But this does not tickle my fancy. That, however, does. Never against having a life extension just as extra insurance, but I'm probably not gonna need it here, let's be real. What am I waiting for? I think we're just supposed to board the pirate ship. Don't know why I didn't do this straight off. Maybe it's because my exploration sense is telling me to explore, or something. Something that I don't usually do very much, and I should. It's fun to look around sometimes. There's a blue over there just waiting to make trouble. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, who are you? I remember your name. It's Camilla again, I guess. We caught her before, right? Yeah, we must have. She's still, she looks familiar to me. Just in this playthrough, I think. Yep, same strategy as before. Gotta get the shell. Give me the shell. Give me the darn shell. Tell me right now. Be hectic, baby. Don't give me that shell. Boom! That's one. Ha! Ah, there's a point there that I don't need. Fire! But everything changed when the fire needs to attack. Her theme is really cool. I like it quite a bit now. But all the good things must come to an end. So let's keep hitting her with shells. Oh my gosh, what are you doing now? You're not defeated yet, don't even lie. Oh, you've summoned your minions. Well, that makes this extremely pleasant, doesn't it? Aha, I'm coming up to the crow's nest. Die, crows! Aha. Dodge everything, except for the shell. I'm gonna grab that. I was supposed to kill that magic Koopa with a shell, which still would have been a waste, but there we go. And now you'll throw another shell. That would be nice. Extremely nice. Come on, don't get mean now. Give me a shell. Thank you. Now face your defeat. Boom. Wait, you're not done yet? Are you serious? 
gonna be a daredevil run of this thing, so if I get through this without being hit, there's no point in showing it again. Where's the shell? Oh, you're still in the minions, okay. I see how you roll. Oh, I better not die from touching it, now it's gonna be embarrassing. Oh, I got hit! It's official, I got hit. That means I have to do the daredevil run, and I have to show it whenever that comet appears, and I know it will, because I do remember that being a thing. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I was so close to doing it without getting hit. Oh, well. Good job! You got the thing! Ta-da! I hope that comet does not appear right away, because if it does, I have to fight her again. When I just got through beating her. Yeah. And with my luck, that's probably what's gonna happen. Ah, so let's take a look. I don't have to save yet. No, that's fine. The comet is not there yet. Okay, I am pleasantly surprised. That means I don't have to fight her again just yet. But soon, very soon, we will meet again with one health. It's gonna be a little bit of a pain. I've had tr trouble with it before. But anyway, it's time for Bubble Blast Off. Thank you, game, for not making me fight the same boss twice. <coughs> for not abusing my code of honor, where I do comments as soon as they appear. Okay, even if this is another boss, I'm not mad. It's still variety. So I'll be yes. fighting Camilla twice in a row. Good lord. This reminds me of the spider boss in, in uh, Twilight Princess in the Temple of Time. The music sounds just like that. Okay, the bubbles don't actually hurt me, but they're a huge inconvenience, of course. Aha, got it. I wonder how many times I have to do that. And can I side flip? I can't. It's just that easy. <laughs> now he's pissed off. Uh-oh. All right, you jerk. No more bubbles. Just doing all your star bits as I run around frantically. I can't even see what I'm doing, and I still did it. Wow, that's amazing. Homing ground pound for the win. He exploded. Rest in pepperoni peace. Rest in pieces of pepperoni. All right. Am I really doing this again? This can't be right. There's gotta be something else. I didn't have to do this last time, did I? Huh. That's weird. Why am I doing this again? You know what? Screw it. Hit the tree. See how you like that. But isn't there something else I'm supposed to be doing? Do I seriously have to use fireballs again? Oh, I do. There's three torches to light this time. Wow, I guess I'm an idiot. Never mind! Alright, fine. Let's do the thing. Another excuse to be Rainbow Mario. And another Octorok extinction attack. What happens if I grab a fire flower while rainbow? Do I have to be rainbow and fire flower at the same time? I'm about to find out. But I must have this question answered. The fire flower disappeared and had no effect. So I guess the answer is no. You have to wait for rainbow to wear off before you can grab fire. Oh well, that's just how it goes. And this time my extinction attack failed. A bunch of them are still alive. Okay. Anyway, not too big of a deal. Deja vu, though. This feels like the last one. The beginning of the last one. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah! Consecutive long jumps for the win. Right, one, two, and three. I said three. Thank you. And that makes an ice flower appear! We got fire and ice in this galaxy, which is awesome. It's amazing. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! That was the most epic homing ground pound ever. I started the homing ground pound before Magic Koopa even appeared. That's amazing. Oh, you try to put out these torches and they relight themselves. That's amazing. I've never actually seen that before. This is the first time I've ever tried that. There was never any reason for me to actually do that. But anyway, now that my timer's been reset for the ice audio thing, I'm actually going to do what I'm supposed to do. And make my way around this way. Jumping up these waterfalls. Oh, man. I guess I'm supposed to climb here. I guess my need for Ice Mario has kind of ended, so now we're doing this. Oh, really? Are you freaking serious? You cannot be serious right now. Alright, well, fine, you jerks. I'll just have to kill you all. Where's that Ice Flower? It's all the way back there. Jeez, what a pain. Turn 
the camera. Let me see where I'm going. If I can't do that, I may as well quit now. Because you're annoying. Let me have your coin. Then I'll jump up these waterfalls again. I'm running out of time really quickly. Might as well back up and grab the thing. There we go. That works. Don't let that Octorok hit me again, man. We don't need that to happen again. Die, you insufferable piece of garbage. All right. I guess I'm done insulting them for now. Might as well jump straight down here, because why not? You can grab this, so it's no problem. Oh, this looks fun. Oh, boy. We get a swing and do this and that, and I think we're good. I think that's all I had to do there. I don't need those coins. I'm just going to pass on those. Holy crap, this is a hard part platforming. Actually, worried me there for a second. There's some star base there, but I'm about to go up there anyway. I stand right about here. There we go. Because once you're trapped in a bubble like that, you can't actually get out until you land. Our goal is to actually get into the bubbles. Instead of avoiding them, we want to get in them. We get into them this time. I think that's why this galaxy is called Bubble Blast Galaxy. Or it's not called it's not called Bubble Blast Galaxy, is it? It's a deep dark galaxy. Never mind. Hold on, let me Bubble Blast off in Deep Dark Galaxy. Okay, I'm getting so confused for no good reason is what I'm doing. Jump over that. You know there was nothing to jump over, I was just being safe. Blast me off, please! Thank you, there we go. Look how far we're flying in a bubble. That's freaking amazing. And the music changed. Oh, I guess. What'd that do? Nothing? Are there others to do all do as well? Do these fish hurt me? I bet they do. Otherwise, what would be, what would be the point? Aha! Oh, it activated the thing with the bubble. Now we stand here, haha. -ha. I think I used to actually get hurt by those fish quite a lot, so... I'm glad I didn't do that this time. It was easier this time than it was the last time I played the game, I think. Oh, the, the ring crap again. I hate the rings, they're stupid. There can only be one. One ring to rule them all. Anyway. Jeez. Is there something to do here? What do I... Oh, I see what I have to do. I got it, I got it. We're good. Those balls rolling around there, I have to ground pound them, I think. And they're moving, so that makes this incredibly tricky. So wish me luck with that. I have to get in their path and see where they're going. There we go, see, that's one of them. That's another. Just gotta get the third one now. Where are you going, ball? I, you're faster than me, it's so unfair. Even if I long jump, I can't hope to match the speed of that thing. We'll have to cut it off at the pass or whatever. Boom! Holy crap, it's a giant watermelon. I could go for some watermelon right now. That sounds really good. Good job, you got the thing. Ta-da! Unfortunately, watermelon is not really in season because we're in winter. Today is November 22nd. Today is the day when my roommate got on a plane and moved out of state. And I know it's kind of a tragedy to have to kick the roommate out for not paying rent, but that's how it goes. I'm not gonna make the same mistake I made with my first roommate where I let him stay. Jeez, that was a long time ago. That was like right after I got out of high school, so I was pretty like naive back then or whatever. And I still might be now, but but anyway. This episode is over, I'm the Sporkinator. Thank you for watching, and may we meet again in the future. Goodbye for now. This episode and several others got messed up by a certain setting somehow getting changed in my recording software that caused my commentary to get mixed with the game audio. So for these next few videos, I have no control over it, so I apologize for that.